Arizona Wildcats take the field here in Tucson. A lot of enthusiasm and excitement surrounding this football team. Ranked 14th in the nation today. They play host to the Washington Huskies. Hi everybody, I'm Gus Johnson along with my partner Charles Davis and welcome to Tucson and how about Rich Rodriguez? Very successful at West Virginia, not as successful at Michigan and now here at Arizona in his third year. He's led him to two straight bowl games. He's going to another bowl this season. Rich Rod starting to really put his imprint on this Wildcat football program. And he's proven to the people in Ann Arbor that patience should have been the watchword because they were getting ready to turn the corner. But the corner is being turned here in Tucson and it's being led by a, a redshirt freshman quarterback, Anu Solomon, who can run Rich Rod's offense, not just fast but at warp speed. Meanwhile, for Washington, Chris Peterson is at the other end of the spectrum in his first season. He's had to suspend some players, and he's trying to get this team to play the kind of football that uh, he brought over from Boise State. And the team has to start to buy in a little bit more. I think most of the team is there, still some of the upperclassmen a little resistant. But remember this, Chris Peterson was 92 and 12 at Boise State with some huge BCS wins. So don't think that his method doesn't work or it can't work at Washington. It can, and until he gets his offense on track, the defense, Shaq Thompson, Holy Kakaha, they're the guys to keep an eye on today. Time now to join the third member of our team on the sideline. Here's Molly McGrath. Thanks, Gus. The Washington Huskies are sacrificing some talent on offense to help bolster their defense today. Two-way player Shaq Thompson has seen more time at running back lately, but he told me that he went to head coach Chris Peterson after last week's loss to UCLA and asked to be moved back to linebacker. He said that he missed hitting people and playing on defense and stressed that their front seven needs to take some pressure off of their depleted secondary. Receiver John Ross hopes to help out that unit. He's making his first start at cornerback today. He told me that he's an offensive-minded player and performs to have the ball in his hands, but he'll do anything he can to help the Huskies get a win. Gus, Charles? All right, thank you very much, Molly. Warm day here in Arizona as we get ready to kick off this game. 70 degrees at kickoff time. And this series dates back to 1978. Washington leads the series 19 to 10 with one tie. The home team has won the last six. Last year, Washington won 31 13 in Seattle behind Bishop Sankey. We ran the ball a record 40 times for 160 yards and a touchdown. Arizona won the toss, deferred Washington to receive John Ross, the dangerous one. The sophomore from Long Beach, California, Deontay Cooper back there with him. Ross, he's the team leader in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns. Starting at quarterback today and playing great special teams all season long. And he'll let this one go out of the back of the end zone. So the Huskies will start from their own 25. And Charles, do you know three things that we need to know about Washington when they have the ball? We'll do our best to try and lose, uh, uh, help people figure it out. Shaq Thompson, full-time offense, doesn't sound like it today. I think they need him on the offensive side because they need big plays, but he'll play linebacker. Colin Tanagal is the starting center. This offensive line was expected to be one of the best parts of their offense. They haven't lived up to it. They need to lean on him today and need to play well and on defense for Arizona. Scooby right the third. Where will he line up? Inside linebacker, outside linebacker, everywhere. On first down, Huskies want to throw it and they'll dump it off. Siler Miles finds Deontay Cooper. The senior out of the backfield and he's taken down or knocked out of bounds by Jake Matthews. So the numbers on Siler Miles and he was quoted as saying we just need to come out fast and play with our hair on fire from the opening kickoff if we want to beat Arizona. And it starts with him. His play has to continue to get better in order for his team to play to that level. Second down and three at the 32. And here's Myers. He'll keep it and pick up a first down. And you're seeing that play a lot in college football. I saw Ohio State running that today against Minnesota. I've seen Brett Hundley run it with UCLA. It's because of the style of quarterback that people have and offensive coordinators and head coaches around the country are willing to let their quarterbacks run. It's a new era. They're allowing them to use their athletic gifts because they found out just how much they can hurt a defense. Eight yard gain, first down and 10. Here's Deontay Cooper. And Cooper trying to run left. 
Not a lot of room on that side. Guess who? Scooby Wright comes up with the tackle. And here's a young man that's just playing outstanding football. The National Defensive Player of the Week against Washington State when he had three sacks and forced three fumbles. You name it, he's done it so far on defense, truly playing at an All-American level each and every week. No gain on the play. Second down and ten. Diamond formation for UW. And they'll give it to Cooper, who bounces it outside, it. keeps his balance, and is knocked forward and gets to the 45-yard line. William Parks defensively for Arizona. Watch the snap. A little bit off in recent weeks. Colin Tanagawa has been a little off in his snaps to the quarterback, and sometimes that can throw off the timing of a play. Brings up third down and five at the 45. Huskies need to go to midfield to pick up a first down. Empty backfield for Siler Miles. Here's the bad snap. Delivery yeah. incomplete. Knocked away at the last moment. DeAndre Campbell, the intended receiver. Devontae Neal averaging close to 19 yards per return. Corey Durkee will punt it away from his own 30. He's recorded only three touchbacks on 48 punts this season. Line drive, end over end, takes a bounce and into the end zone. So Arizona will start at the 25. Three things you need to know when Arizona has the ball. The three things you need to know when Arizona has the ball. Anu Solomon, their quarterback, he is the real deal. He's been productive from game one. He's already thrown it over 70 times in a game twice this season. Nick Wilson, their freshman running back, he's the tone setter. When he carries the ball and gets over 100 yards, Arizona is undefeated. And then look out, quarterbacks. Here comes Holy Kakaha. Leads the nation in sacks with 16 and a half. Went out in the shoulder stinger last week against UCLA. But he's ready to go today. And one thing about Arizona with Rich Rodriguez, they want to get to the line of scrimmage quickly and snap the ball. Arizona snaps the ball every 19.9 seconds on average. No one in the Pac-12 faster than that. Not even Oregon. And they actually can go faster if they start getting first downs. That's their key. The initial first down, they go, to, they go into real high gear from there. And here's the pitch to Nick Wilson. Turns it up. And Wilson gets to about the 33-yard line. Travis Feeney, John Timo combining on the tackle for Washington. Nick Wilson has already set the Arizona freshman rushing record. He has four 100-yard games this season. Gain of eight, second down and two. Nick Wilson, no, they throw it near side, and the ball caught by Neal again. And Neal gets to the 40-yard line. Did a nice job, Charles, picking that ball off the turf, or no, he didn't. Now, the referee, Jack Foliard, actually had the call from the backside because I think the official on the front side was screened off by the body of the, of the uh, receiver. But Jack Folliard called it incomplete from his vantage point on the backside. Now he's going to try and he's going to ask everyone else for another look. Early on the field was a backwards pass, not an incomplete pass. So if it's a backwards Play pass, results in a first down. That's that's what's commonly known as a lateral, which means that play is legal and fine. And so off of the bounce. He's able to gain the yards. Well, we that saw that. Yeah. We saw that play at Utah when they took on USC, and that turned into a touchdown for Utah when USC didn't realize it was a lateral. With Solomon running out of the pocket, wants to throw on the run up top. He's got his receiver. Caught out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Samaje so Grant with the catch. A flag on the play. And watch how Solomon extends the play and lets his receiver First keep going. Foul, roughing the passer, number 80 on the defense. That penalty will assess on the kickoff. Touchdown. There's the roughing by Evan Hudson, number 80, but the mistake was made in the secondary by Sidney Jones, number 26. And you know what it was? He stopped his feet and looked back at the quarterback. And once he did that, the receiver continued on his route. And Solomon threw it out there for him. Huge play for Arizona. Last week against Colorado, Grant with a career-high six catches for 83 yards. That one good for 57. First down and goal at the one-yard line. Jones, Grigsby, Nick Wilson in the backfield. And they'll hand it off to Wilson. And he stood up and driven backwards. 
Stout defense by Washington. And the man in the middle, Danny Shelton. First man to him. Not many people will be running through number 55 at 6'2", 339 is what he's listed. He left 339 a, a little while ago, folks. <laughs> a loss of one, second down and goal at the two. And boy, what a year he's having in the middle of the line for Washington. Wilson, touchdown. Casey Scourin comes in to attempt the extra point. And it is good. Five plays covering 74 yards. Arizona wasting no time. They score in a minute and eight seconds. Samaje Grant with the big play on the drive, a 57-yard reception. And the Wildcats take a 7-0 lead here in Tucson. Eighth rushing touchdown of the season for young Nick Wilson as they go five plays covering 74 yards. And Arizona taking a 7-0 lead over Washington. Casey Scourin will send it away. John Ross back deep for the Huskies along with Deontay Cooper. This went deep in the back of the end zone, and Ross will take a knee. First down, and they'll hand it off to Dwayne Washington. Washington high-stepping as he crosses the 40 and gets to the 42-yard line. Jarvis McCall defensively for Arizona. For a team that needs to continue to create big plays, they will need more of those types from Dwayne Washington. The best playmakers for Washington have gone over to defense now. John Ross, number one at corner, and Shaq Thompson, number seven, now at linebacker. Trips at the bottom of your screen after the 16-yard pickup, and they'll hand it off to Washington again, and he'll run into a brick wall. I tell you, they're really playing some tough football on defense. Jared Tevis again making a play. No gain, second and ten. Miles to throw. Dumps it off, Mickens. And Mickens knocked out of bounds by Jordan Grandin. Jadon Mickens off to a great start after a slow game last week against UCLA. And they needed to get him involved without the big playmakers now who have switched over to the other side. Mickens becomes one of those primary guys, much more of a running back type playing receiver. And when he gets the ball in his hands, he can do damage. Third down and four at the 47. Call in motion. Here's Miles over the middle this time, and he should have the first down as Joshua Perkins comes up with the catch. Remember what I said last series? Keep an eye on the tight end. All right, Perkins right here. Going to come on a shallow cross. And when I say keep an eye on the tight end, third down situations. And we talked about Siler Miles staying in the pocket. Good job by the quarterback, letting his reads come to him, going through the progressions, and delivering for the first down. From the 48, play fake. Miles setting up deep in the pocket. Delivers over the middle, a beautiful strike. And another first down, DeAndre Campbell this time, a gain of 12. And they're getting bigger chunks of yardage with Siler Miles here early in the game, aren't they? When they throw it downfield, it's not just all five-yard passes now. They're able to strike downfield and move the chains with a few extra yards attached. First down and 10 at the Arizona 36. And they'll tie a double play in the end zone. Touchdown, Joshua Perkins, 36 yards. Marvin Hall threw a perfect ball. And so did Silent Miles, because he had to throw the perfect one to set it up. 
It's like a hockey assist. The assist that set up the assist. Perfectly thrown ball, easily caught by Hall. And then as you noted, a second perfectly thrown ball by Marvin Hall. That's his second pass of the year, his second completion of the year, and his first touchdown. Extra point is good. And with 6.36 to play in the first quarter, Washington gets on the board. Coach Peterson dialing up a trick play. He's never done that before, has he? And this was a shot of the pep rally on Friday night. A lot of excited students. The band played well. Right now, Joshua Perkins is playing well. He came into this game with 11 catches, had two catches on the last drive. And Coach Peterson and his team tie the game up at seven apiece. Viscano sends it away. Johnson and Grant back deep. This is Johnson with running room. Tyrell Johnson, first down and 10 of the 21. Solomon running the option with Wilson. He pitches it to his running back. And Some hard hitting going on as Wilson turned the corner. Corey Littleton grabbed his ankle first, and Buda Baker was there. He lost his hat. Wow. They want to make them run. Look at that. They really want to make them run and tire them out. But so far, Washington's running quite well laterally with Arizona. Second down and eight. And that ball almost intercepted. Wow. Sidney Jones just couldn't control it. You know what you love about this play? Sidney Jones has been beaten twice for long balls. One completed, one not completed. Earlier in this game. But instead of backing off and getting scared, he's still up there being aggressive, trusting his eyes, and driving on the football. Anu Solomon in the shotgun. Solomon hit as he throws, and incomplete. That one off the fingertips of Samaj Grant. A little high, but it's one you would think he would come down with. Andrew Hudson with pressure in the backfield. See that? Yeah, that's one that the receivers coach for Arizona will have a little bit of a talk with him about. You would expect him to come down with that one. Solomon, another big hit in the pocket. Remember earlier, there's a personal foul on a hit against Solomon. Washington getting after him. Drew Riggleman hunting, hunting the football. Jadon Mickens goes over to the far side and lets it go out of play. First down and 10 at the 34. Miles. Far side, ball caught by Casey Williams. And Casey Williams, he's almost been a forgotten man on this Huskies team. That's his first, well, that's his second catch in the last six games. We see a new Solomon getting taped over on the sidelines. Casey Williams was a number one receiver before hurting a leg last year. Bad, bad injury. Levon Coleman running right, picks up the first down. He's a redshirt freshman. 5'11", 217 from Lompoc, California. William Parks with the tackle. Gains 10 yards on the play. First down at midfield. Play fake. Miles. Far side. Williams with the grab. Turns on the Jets and... Picks up a first down, Cason Williams. A 13-yard reception. I figured that most of the year, he must not be 100% coming back from the bad leg injury he had last year that required surgery. But you see him at 6'2", 217. Why he's not getting the ball more if it's not that? First down, here's the pitch. Washington, high stepping again. Washington with some good running. As he finally goes down at the 19-yard line, Wayne Washington, the sophomore from Lakewood, California. Last week against UCLA, 33 yards and a touchdown on seven carries after missing the two previous games due to injury. Second and three. Here's Washington. Yeah. 
And that will take us to the end of the first quarter with the score. Arizona 7, UW 7. Siler Miles' confidence and ability to throw the football in the early downs helped him gain big chunks of yardage. Miles 9 of 12, 110 yards passing in the first. And here's the run for Coleman, and it's a first down for the Huskies. Jared Tevis with the tackle for Arizona. And the committee of running backs is working well for Washington early in the game. Coleman 22, Washington 12. Deontay Cooper, number six, have not had to go to Shaq Thompson on number seven on offense. Tenth play of the drive that started at the Washington 34-yard line. They'll run straight ahead with Coleman. And Coleman tackled behind the line of scrimmage by Scooby Wright. In pregame, Scooby Wright, all business, gets really amped up. You know what Molly McGrath told us, told me, Gus, in pregame? That right after they come out, he ends up vomiting each and every game. He's so ready for every game that he gives it up and then goes out and plays at the All-American level he's playing. Well, one of our colleagues at Fox, Donovan McNabb, did that his whole career in the NFL. Second down and 22. Bad snap handled by Miles. Over the middle and complete. Dwayne Washington, the intended receiver. Scooby Wright covering. Right from the first series, we talked about Colin Tanagal, who's had trouble in recent weeks with a shotgun snap. And it could throw off the timing of a play. And indeed, it did just that. Miles had to become a shortstop to make sure the ball didn't get past him. And the timing of the play was fractured. So that makes it third down and 22 to 27. Here's Miles to throw it. Dancing gets out of the pocket. Now decides to run it and goes out of bounds close to the 20. Jared Tevis pushes him out of play. Not enough for first down, so that brings up fourth down. He tried to extend the play, didn't he? He didn't just take off and go. He tried to extend it, but the coverage was good downfield. Brings up another field goal attempt. So Cameron Van Winkle, who hit the upright on his last attempt from 43 yards away, comes in to attempt a 39-yarder. And it's good. 9.27 to play in the second quarter. Washington takes the lead on the road. 10 to 7 over Arizona, but let's see what the young redshirt freshman can do when he gets back on the field. 10 7, Washington taking the lead. The Huskies with 262 yards in total offense, and their defense has held Arizona to only 109. Washington also with 15 minutes of time of possession, only five minutes for the Arizona offense. So Chris Peterson's Huskies controlling this football game. Tyrell Johnson, Samaj Grant back deep. And this one will not be brought out of the end zone by Tyrell Johnson. We look at the ball control, as you just noted, Washington, 15 minutes of time of possession to Arizona's. Arizona doesn't worry about much about time of possession, but the problem is they're not getting the first downs to keep their offense on the field. Rick Wilson, and they're determined to run the football, especially between the tackles. They are a run first team. When you think of Rich Rodriguez and his spread offense and up tempo, it always starts with running the football. Best teams he has, they run it effectively. Second down and nine. Solomon in trouble. Backs it up. Looking, nobody there, and finally just dumps it out of bounds. And this Washington defense is playing with a lot of spirit, Charles Davis. They certainly are, not just spirit, but boy, they're covering receivers. The pass rush is being keyed by Danny Shelton, number 55. He's absolutely breaking down everything in the inside of the, of the rush, inside of the line for Arizona, which is allowing guys like Andrew Hudson, number 93, access to the quarterback. Third down and nine to the 26. Solomon to the sideline, incomplete, and Arizona will punt it again. 
Caleb Jones, the intended receiver. They are out of sync. How come I hear my college coach John Major's voice in my head right now? They're discombobulated. That was one of his favorites when a team was not really pumping and really working very well. But discombobulated, out of sorts. We've got them. Now for Washington, who's controlling this game, that ball has to get into the end zone more. They're going up and down the field. They've missed a field goal attempt and made one, but they need sixes. Pettis backpedaling. He'll field it at the eight. Pettis at the 20 and finally goes down. Flags on the play. He fielded it at the 24. First down in a long 15. And Cooper. Shot down by Scooby Wright. Is that a direct snap to Deontay Cooper? Now, was it supposed to be? The way Siler Miles reacted, I'm not sure that that was supposed to go directly to Deontay Cooper. Look like Miles thought it was, he was supposed to get it. Second down and nine. Miles runs it. And crosses the 30 up to the 31. Siler Miles running the ball effectively. Cody Ippolito brings him down. Seven carries, 29 yards for the sophomore quarterback from Centennial, Colorado, Siler Miles. Third down and three. Here's Miles to throw. Underneath and a first down for Cason Williams. Cason Williams has had a big first half, his fourth catch, which is a season high. And watch the offensive line because here comes pressure. Here comes Scooby right in the middle. And Tufunga, number 65, picked him up and gave Miles the time, Miles Siler Miles the time to find Cason Williams. First down at the 41. Miles wants to unload. Nobody there. Miles running, and he's sacked for a loss. Jared Tevis, we've been calling his name all afternoon here in the first half. He's broken up passes, come up with key tackles, and now a sack. And he is a walk-on originally from right here in Tucson, who stayed at home and on that play stayed at home and spilled miles. He's also a semifinalist for the Lot Impact Award that goes to the top defensive player in the country with a few other criteria attached to it. Second and 17. And Washington. Well, he broke free. Dwayne Washington. What a sprint. Washington. Touchdown. 66 yards. All year long, Chris Peterson has asked his running backs to run through tackles a little bit better, run through contact, good blocks at the point of attack. Tufunga 65, Hatchie 72, and they opened up the lane for Dwayne Washington, and then he turned on the sprint. And prior to that run, his longest run of the season, 12 yards. He scores his fifth rushing touchdown of the year, and with 5.16 to go, the Huskies playing great football, dominating the first half here at Tucson, up 17 to seven. Scoreboard says 17 to seven. It actually could be a bigger margin if Washington had cashed in on a few things, but look at how they're running the football. Arizona is a run first team. Can't get, the, get, get, can't get things going on the ground. Washington, indeed they have. Brandon Johnson back deep, and this one will not be returned. First down to 10 of the 25 for Solomon, and he gets pounded as he lets that ball go. Completes the pass to Devontae Neal. Anu Solomon hanging in there, playing some tough ball. He's getting hit a few times during this game. Scott Lawyer putting the hit on him. Second down and one. Wilson. 
and a first down. But what's interesting about what UW has done in this first half, Dwayne Washington, seven carries, 101 yards, and a touchdown, his second career 100-yard game. And now the Huskies with 357 yards in total offense in the first half. They only average 365 per game, 95th in FBS. And totally have justified moving Shaq Thompson and John Ross to the defensive side of the ball. First down and 10 at the 36. And it's Wilson. And Wilson picks up a first down. Brandon Beaver finally stops him after a gain of 12. And when they get first downs, they want to increase the tempo of how they play. From the 48. Wilson again. And Danny Shelton, first man to him. Two-yard pickup. For a nose tackle, you call his name a lot. Oh, Danny on. Shelton. I mean, most nose tackles finish a game. If they get three tackles, they call it a big day. Danny Shelton came into today averaging seven tackles per game. Second down to the Solomon over the middle. Incomplete. Intended for Devontae Neal. That one thrown a little bit behind him. And you just look at a guy like Danny Shelton, and you know that on Sundays you're going to be tuning in and watching him maybe for the next 10 to 12 years. Yeah, he's, I mean, he, it, with his ability to handle the middle of the defense, but the agility to slide outside a little bit and pass rush, got a little Vince Wilfork in him. Third down and eight. Solomon, sideline, Call first down. Nicely done, Caleb Jones gains. The first down, and prior to that, they were 0 for 5 on third down conversions. He gained 11. See how they're going to go a little bit quicker now? Wilson. Fighting through the hole. And Nick Wilson. Hard to bring down. Brandon Beaver finally held him up. So he picks up six yards, second down and four. Arizona with two timeouts left. Solomon, that incomplete. Caleb Jones couldn't bring it down. And that play is spreading in popularity. We saw Kansas State last week use it against TCU, and they've used it to great effectiveness most of the year, not that night. But it's a play where you have a run option for the quarterback, a give option to the running back, or the quarterback can pull it and throw it downfield. So third down and four at the 18. Solomon sprints out of the pocket, dumps it off, and broken up by Buda Baker again. Buda Baker's closing speed when that ball is in the air is terrific. It makes sense. Last year in high school, he was the Washington Player of the Year in football. You know what else he was? State champ in the 100 meters, the 200 meters, and the 4 by 100 relay team. That closing speed you talked about, we know where it comes from. So Casey Scourin has missed five of his last nine attempts. This one from 35 yards away. First year as a starting place kicker. Watch how they close things down here. And once he gets to the corner, he had a pass option on the play. But it wasn't necessary. And he gets hauled down, but he's already in the end zone. Hey, if you missed five of your last nine, forget it. Run it. <laughs> so Rich Rodriguez coming up with his own trick play for Coach Peterson, 139 to go, 17-14. Here come the Cats. How about Casey Scourin? Redshirt junior from Phoenix with his first career touchdown. Don't forget, he's a walk-on. And do you know what he was doing prior to walking on? He's the manager of the women's soccer team here at the University of Arizona. 
And he said, hey, I want a shot at kicking the ball. He came out, got his shot, won the job. And boy, he obviously can hook it a little bit too, can he? Soccer players can run a little bit. He was a, he was a high school soccer star himself. So he'll pop this one high in the air. And it's fielded by John Ross. And Ross over the 25, finally wrestled down at the 27-yard line. Siler Miles, 12 of 17, 151 yards passing in the first half. 131 to go from his own 28. Miles underneath, and he completes it. Jada Mickens, whoa! Jadon Mickens. You know how they talk about those little slot receivers in the NFL, and one of the great descriptors of them is they're quicker than fast. He's quick and fast. Yes, he is. Jonathan McKnight with a saving tackle. Miles, far side, and incomplete. This time intended for Dwayne Washington. He tried to turn it upfield before he had the ball in his hands. He was, he was feeling the catch and turning upfield for a big play and let that one go through his fingers. Second down and 10. Miles hands it off to Wayne Washington. And he lunge forward. Jake Matthews with the tackle after a three yard pickup. It's another snap from Colin Tanagawa. I'm not trying to pick on the young man. I love his effort. I love the way he plays. But the timing of your offense when the snaps are all over the place can really be affected. I think Siler Miles has done a fine job in the first half handling them. Another bad snap. Miles staying on his feet. Dropped it. Loose. Arizona's got it. Starts with the snap. Miles couldn't handle that when that was off to his left. And then the pressure was put on him immediately, and then he drops the football. That was Derek Turi Turi, number 45, who put the pressure on him. And then as Miles tried to gather himself, see? The first error. Now he gets the pressure. As he gathers himself and stumbles, the ball slips out of his hand again. That was Tevis, 38, with the second pressure before the recovery. The guy they call Panda, Tanagawa, 50, 64. He's got some work to do to try and help out his offense. So Arizona takes over at the 19. First down and 10 with 33 seconds to play. Here's Solomon, screen, Wilson. Oh, and he is ridden down hard by big Danny Shelton. What a play out there by Corey Littleton, 42 that allowed Shelton to run from inside out. Close, Arizona with one timeout left. Siler Miles has fumbled twice, lost both fumbles in this first half. Second down, 12 of the 21. Solomon. Steps up, throws on the move. Ball caught on the far side by Caleb Jones. He'll get inside the 10 and a first down. The clock will stop with 16 seconds. Look at that. Outscored their points 59 to 3 off of turnovers last week against Colorado. Four turnovers forced. They scored 28 points off of those four turnovers Break, that broke the game open. So Arizona quickly back out on the field. Now they'll just spike it with 13 seconds to go. He's got a chance for one, maybe two shots here if he wants them before they have to resort to the field goal. Where is Caleb Jones? We have one timeout left. Yes, there's okay. Caleb Jones. Caleb Jones on, the, on that side of the field. I would think maybe a play goes towards his direction. Yes. 
Wilson. Touchdown, Arizona. His second of the first half. Look at the box count. They've outnumbered them inside here in the pit. And that's why they ran the ball inside. Their offensive lineman, they had five versus four. It's automatic. Run it. Touchdown. Arizona with two touchdowns in a minute and 31 seconds. And that'll be the end of the first half with the score. Arizona 21, Washington 17. Washington with close to 400 yards in offense, but nine penalties, two turnovers, and a missed field goal. And the Cats have the lead. And our halftime score, Arizona 21, Washington 17. Gus Johnson along with Charles Davis. And when you look at the numbers, partner, you would think that Washington will be leading by a lot more or a bunch and instead they trail how many times did we say in the first half Washington is controlling things Offensively they've gone up they went up and down the field just didn't pay it off with enough touchdowns Defensively they were shutting Arizona down, but miscues by Washington Opened the gate for Arizona Arizona struck first in this game Nick Wilson one of his two touchdowns in the first half there But Dwayne Washington with a long sprint for the Washington Huskies and look at that the backup snapper Jose Romero to Casey Scourin on a fake field goal and then they capped it off after another bad snap turned into another fumble Arizona with another miscue takeaway put points on the board and here are our first half stats brought to you by Geico number of plays Washington leading Arizona that's not often a stat Arizona trails in look at total yards for Washington but the killer for them nine penalties for 67 yards Arizona's been clean there and the two turnovers turned into 14 points Arizona to receive to start the second half and this will kick out of the end zone let's go downstairs and check in with our Molly McGrath Thanks, Gus. Arizona's coach Rich Rodriguez told me that the momentum shift at the end of the first half was huge because it got the crowd back into the game. He said that his quarterback, Anu Solomon's decision making isn't as sharp as it normally is. He made some mistakes, but Rodriguez said it's because his O-line isn't protecting him well enough. You mentioned those miscues in the first half. Washington's Chris Peterson said that those mistakes were absolutely crushing. He told them to keep on swinging, keep on fighting, and clean it up, guys. All right, thank you very much, Molly. First down and 10 of the 25. This one thrown on the slant to Caleb Jones. Jones with a nice job of hauling that ball in for an 11-yard gain. All fingertips there. No, I'm sorry, go ahead. John Ross brings him down. The only thing I can come up with, Gus, is tempo. The up-tempo play of Arizona can force mistakes. And this And Wilson looks like he did he fumble the football. I think they called him down there The linesman the lineman linesman ran in and was definite about it marking the ball. Oh, I don't know I don't know partner time out Washington their first time out this half And they uh, you know why they took that time out. They wanted them to take a look at this and yeah, they'll take a closer look right now 1337 to play third quarter back after this 21-17 Arizona, but Washington has the ball again. Watch the hit from Buda Baker, 32. Pops the ball free. And number seven, the ball magnet himself, Shaq Thompson, gets a clear recovery for Washington. So our replay officials had a chance on the timeout to go back and take a look. Jim Northcott, Jerry Meyerhoff, and they gave the ball to Washington correctly. On first down, they pitch it to Cooper, trying to follow his blocks. Still on his feet as he bounces backwards. And he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Jake Matthews, first man to him. No gain on the play. And who's playing center for Washington? Tanagawa, 64, is still in there. Showing faith in the veteran, giving him another opportunity to get it right in the second half. Second down and 10. Miles. Out of the pocket. Miles decides to run it out of bounds as he crosses into Arizona territory. About a half yard short of the first down. 
didn't it seem like he was easing up to go out of bounds and then realize there was more yardage to get and grabbed a few extra? Yes, he did. Calvin Allen, number 94 in pursuit. He's a freshman. He'll learn. You better go get that quarterback. Because <laughs> if you don't, they may turn it upfield on you. Third down and one at the 47. Washington leading forward and Prince free. Delay Washington. Whoa. What a run of 20 yards. Turituri finally bringing him down. How much of it before contact? Not much. Here he is getting it, gets the line of scrimmage. There's your first contact, really about the line of scrimmage. That's 20 yards run after contact, determined running again by Dwayne Washington. He's been watching a lot of Marshawn Lynch up there in Seattle. Coleman, stiff arms, tries to turn the corner, can't turn on the speed, and he is tracked down by William Parks. What does that clap mean? It means that the quarterback is ready for the ball. Snap it when you're ready center. But as soon as he claps the ball, claps, Tannegal's getting rid of it. So you gotta vary it up a little bit so they don't get a bead on you and start taking off as soon as he claps the football. Second his hands, excuse me. Excuse me. Second down and eleven at the 16. Coleman. Turi Turi with the tackle. And that'll bring up third down and a long nine from the 14-yard line. I think they've got to throw the ball here to ring the bell. Kaysen Williams has been good today, and he has the right frame for what you're looking for, as does Pettis 87. They'll be at the top of your screen. Watch Jadon Mickens, the wide receiver, all the way at the top of your screen. He goes in motion. Miles drops it off. Caught, no, dropped. Dwayne Washington couldn't hold on. And what a well set up play because Dwayne Washington was all by himself. This is the second drop he's had in the open field, and he wasn't able to possess it, and it would have taken him over the sideline short of the first down anyway. So Cameron Van Winkle comes in to attempt a 31-yarder. He's one for two on the day. Good from 39. He missed a 43-yarder, and this one is perfect. So with 10-19 to play in the third quarter, Washington adds three. Arizona up by a penny. And welcome back to Tucson, Arizona. Tight game so far. 10-19 to play in the third quarter. Arizona up 21-20 over Washington. Washington with close to 350 yards of total offense in the first half have made a number of mistakes missed a field goal turned it over twice on fumbles penalties galore should have gone into the half leading but Arizona managed to come back and now the Huskies cut it to a one point game 10 penalties for Washington in this game line drive <laughs> First down and 10 at the 36-yard line. Nick Wilson in the backfield. They give it to Nick Wilson. And he squeezes himself through the hole and gets to the 40, a four-yard gain. Andrew Hudson comes up with the play on defense for Washington. Notice they take a look at the defense. They see what the box count is. If the box count's favorable, they want to run the football. That's how Arizona operates. If not, they'll move it to the perimeter a little bit. Second and six. Wilson again. And Wilson spins and gets close to midfield. A nine yard gain. Remember I just said about the box count? Look, they've got five here and they're going up against five there, but just a three man front. They like their odds, they like their numbers. Wilson, 17 carries, 62 yards, and two touchdowns. Here's Wilson, John Timor. Hurt on the last play being looked at on the Washington sideline. And that's a big loss when they lose him. He's a two-time captain, but Chris Peterson doesn't elect captains prior to the season. He uses game captains. Timu a candidate to be a three-time permanent captain at Washington. 
and they need him back on the field if at all possible. Second down and 15, Solomon sprinting out of the pocket, throws on the move, and incomplete intended for Samaje Grant. They just are off today, aren't yeah, they? I was thinking that. There's just, it's just, there's something that's not syncing up. Timing. I know Rich, Rich, Coach Rich Rod told Molly McGrath, decision making by the quarterback and the offensive line wasn't playing very well. And we saw him get after him on the timeout. Coach Rodriguez was a little hot with his offense when they came to the sideline. But they just aren't in sync today. The normal sharp, crisp play that we've seen in recent games isn't there. Third down and 15. Solomon winds up, just throws this one up for grabs, and it's grabbed by Sidney Jones. Jones running, and Jones finally taken down by Nick Wilson. First interception of the game thrown by Solomon. A 22-yard return, two turnovers apiece now for both teams. Sidney Jones has been challenged a few times today. Grant got him early. And look at the pressure in the face from Andrew Hudson. And there's Jones with the pick. And Solomon throwing the interception. He's had a, I would say, kind of a rough day, wouldn't you? Yeah, you see it right there with the pressure. Many times they're in his face. And then the last one, Andrew Hudson was when he threw the interception. First down and 10. And it's Washington trying to make people miss. But this time, it'll be tackled for a loss. Great pressure by Bondurant and Reggie Gilbert again. Look at the defensive front of Arizona. They didn't get fooled. Look at the initial pressure there by Scooby Wright, 33, which helped bounce the play even farther outside and wider, and that allowed the pursuit to get there. Deontay Cooper comes in. Dwayne Washington's helmet came off, so he has to sit out of play. Second and 11 at the 38. Cooper. And Cooper leaning forward. A 10 yard gain on second and 11. Jarvis McCall brings him to the turf. Plays a phenomenal story. Cooper is, isn't he? Three ACL, te ACL tears in his career at the University of Washington. And he's battled back from all of them. The NCAA actually gave him two additional years to play this year and next year if he chooses to come back. Third down and one. Miles runs it, picks up the first down, and crawls forward. Tyler Miles tackled by Jordan Grandin, but I really like the way this young man has played the game today. I think that he is running with a purpose today. He's not running just to gain what he can and get down. He's running to try and break through and get towards the end zone. Finishing more runs going forward than sliding as he has been most of the season. First down and 10 at the 43. And they get it outside the Pettis. Pettis hauled down from behind by Jarvis McCall. I'll tell you, looking at Siler Miles today, and I know I may get slapped on the wrist for this, but he's reminding me of, he's showing some Brett Hundley signs. Wow. That's big. I but think I, so. But I, I like what you're saying in terms of how he's moving the team, moving it, moving the, the ball with his legs, making better decisions, throwing it. I get where you're coming from. I'm not slapping your wrist. Here's Cooper. Oh. Wow, Jarvis McCall. Deontay Cooper, a tough man because he took a penalty. Cooper staying with it after the big hit. McCall coming into the game, missed the last two games with a bad shoulder. He must be feeling pretty good. Talking about six the hard way. And this time it's Coleman. And William Parks is there to stop LeVon Coleman. Give a big assist there to Cody Ippolito, 57. He didn't get a tackle or an assist. But he had the initial penetration into the backfield that forced the runner to chop his feet a little and let the posse get there for the tackle. Washington doing a nice job putting this drive together. Tenth play of the drive that started at their own 26. Second and 10 at the 32. Miles delivers. And that would throw a bit short for Casey Williams. 
Thought there might have been a little contact downfield with McKnight number six. But no flag from the officials. So it will bring up third down and 10 at the 32. Washington is 10 of 16 on third down conversion. Coleman changes sides. Myers underneath and caught for first down by Marvin Hall. The junior from L.A. gains 13 yards. And I tell you, Siler Miles putting it in the right spot right now. And you know, Marvin Hall came into this game with zero catches on the season. They used him as a change-up guy, occasionally running on the jet sweeps, things of that nature. But Miles hung in there and delivered a strike for the big first down. Miles, 16 of 24, 188 yards, first down. They'll drop back to throw it again. Steps up on the move, flips it out. First down, caught by Hartvickson. Michael Hartvickson, a backup tight end, gains 18 yards. And how well designed was this play from Jonathan Smith, the offensive coordinator? All flow went to the right, and Hartvickson just hung in there and leaked out to the left by himself. First down and goal, Huskies at the Arizona one-yard line. Dwayne Washington, the deep back. They pitch it to him, running right, stiff arm, touchdown, Dwayne Washington. The Huskies showing resiliency on the road, taking a 26 to 21 lead. And one other thing that's been key in this half, Colin Tanagawa. Have we talked about the snaps at all? It's getting to the quarterback and they're making it happen. Shades of Oregon here. With Jeff Lindquist. And now Cameron Van Winkle will come in to attempt the extra point. And he slides it to him. Wow. And that would be Ryan Mazel. The long snapper for extra points, field goals, and punts. A former walk on who got a scholarship before 2013. There have not been many bad snaps in his career. And this one, he uncorks. That's a low one that doesn't even hop. Goes right underneath Linquist's hands, and he falls on it before Arizona can pick it up and run it the other way for a potential two points. So, a 2.45 to play in the third quarter. Washington taking a 26 to 21 lead. 11 penalties for the Huskies, only one for Arizona. Tristan Viscano will kick it away. And this one will be fielded by Johnson at his own goal line. Tyrell Johnson gets close to the 20. Takes us to the end of the third quarter. Washington on top of Arizona, 26 to 21. Back for the fourth in Tucson right after this. Gus Johnson along with Charles Davis, Molly McGrath with you from Tucson, Arizona. And big one for Washington, nine points in the third. The Washington's defense as well as they played today. They will have a few things to say about it. Tell you what, Andrew Hudson, Danny Shelton, Kakaha, Timu, when he was healthy. Now Solomon down the field. He's got a receiver. Caught. He dropped it in the basket. Trey Griffey. The kid's kid. All the way at the top. He's working against John Ross, the former wide receiver, who made the same mistake this half that Sidney Jones made in the first half. Looked back at the quarterback and stopped his feet, and Griffey never did. A 63-yard game. Here's Wilson. Solomon kept it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> He's good, isn't he? He is good. That's that play again where he can pull it, either run with it if it's open, or even throw a pass. The linemen are allowed to go three yards past the line of scrimmage, and the ball snapped when the guy throws it if he throws it downfield. 
Solomon underneath. And incomplete. Dangerous pass intended for Devontae Neal. But how about Washington's defense? They get hit with a massive play. And they don't panic the next two plays. They come right back, shut him down on the run, force the incompletion, make it a big third and ten. They've hung tough all game long, even when Arizona's hit them with big plays. But Arizona struggled on third down. They're one for ten on conversion. Solomon in trouble. Gets out of the pocket. Wants to run it. And goes out of bounds short of the first down. A four-yard gain on third and ten. So what does Rich Rodriguez do now? Uh, I think he goes ahead and gets three here. We've got a long way to go. We'll try and get three here. Get some points on the board. Look at the clock. 13-13 to go. No time to have you. Don't have to press it at this point. Remember, backup snapper in is Jose Romero. The normal snapper, Chase Gorham, is hurt. So this one from 35 yards away for Casey Scour. And he just made it. Scored a touchdown earlier. Now he hits a 35-yarder. 13.08 to go. 26-24. Siler Miles playing well. Back on the field after this. There he is, former Arizona football player John Bird Button Salmon, who died in a car accident in 1926. And two years before the great Gipper speech from Notre Dame, he's the one who told his coach, Coach McHale, his name for the basketball arena, just tell the boys to bear down. And that's what you see on the field, the that's bear right. down in the shadow spotlight there. Those were his words two years before we had the Gipper. Arizona sending it away. And this time, Washington's John Ross brings it out of the end zone. With a head of steam and finally. First down, Mickens. And he goes out of bounds at the 28. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Siler Miles, real solid numbers. Wayne Washington, over 100 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Perkins, tight end, with a touchdown as well. Second and seven at the 29. Cooper, back backwards. And he'll lose yardage on this play. Scooby Wright, Parker Zellers, chopping him down. Zellers, the walk-on, playing with the tender ankle. 247 pounds playing the nose, Parker Zellers. That's pretty phenomenal. All right, monster third down and nine here. Mike Castile's defense, known for pressure. Let's see what angles will come to Siler Miles from. Jadon Mickens is a receiver in the slot at the top of your screen. Miles in trouble and sacked. He lost the ball again. And it looks like Washington will hold on. Dan Petnato got deep into the backfield for the sack. Watch this coming right at you. This is almost a jailbreak. Look at how many guys get back there and fast. Look at all the red shirts. Who was first back there? Was that Tevis 38? Yes. He was the first one back there, and Miles had nowhere to go. Siler Miles may have injured his leg. Arizona with the chance to get good field position. Neal almost muffed it, but holds on. 8.03 to go. Here comes the red shirt freshman Solomon. Nick Wilson. And Wilson stopped at the 35 by Andrew Hudson. And we talked to Rich Rodriguez and his coaches yesterday at their facility. They seem so confident about winning in situations like this. They said this team does not panic. They never worry about being down. This is also a great spot to take a shot downfield, too. Second down. Well, stay on the ground with Wilson. And he said they have excellent chemistry. That was the question you had asked him. How does this team get along? They like each other? He thinks that the chemistry is tremendous, and he felt like it's developed naturally. Didn't bring in a lot of speakers to talk about how you develop it. Didn't put them together with forced things. Let it all come together. What's that word everybody's using that? Organically. And it's worked out very well for Arizona. They don't back off. They don't flinch. 
and they play well in tough situations. 36 down, put 36 points on Cal in the fourth quarter to beat them for the Hail Mary. Five straight runs by Wilson make it six straight now. As Shaq Thompson comes up and makes the hit on Nick Wilson. Remember, Nick Wilson is a freshman from Fresno, California. Four 100-yard games this season. Last week against Colorado, 21 carries, 153 yards, 86 of them in the fourth quarter. He leads them in rushing coming into this game with 763. He's got 97 yards rushing today. Second and eight. Looking for his fifth 100-yard game. Make that Trey Griffey. Watch to the outside. Watch what happens with the receiver, Trey Griffey. He kills the route. It's a stop and go. He stopped a second time. Solomon thinks he's continuing to the end zone. Sidney Jones becomes the receiver and gets his second interception of the game, the second of his career, and they just killed off a potential go-ahead drive by Arizona. You see Solomon gesturing to his receiver. I thought you were going. Rich Rodriguez, very upset. I believe he's upset with the receiver stopping the route. And that drive is over. Yeah, there's no doubt Coach Rodriguez looking at Trey Griffey thinking that route was to continue at least battle for the ball in the end zone. Here's Kelvin running. And he stays in bounds, getting to the 25. Reggie Gilbert with the tackle. And that's back on the Arizona defense. Trey Griffey had that big play that helped ignite them earlier in the game when he caught the long ball from Solomon. This time the route stops, they get the interception. Now it's up to the Arizona defense in Washington. Look at the streak they're trying to end. 21 of the last 22 road games against ranked opponents. They've lost last win 2010 at number 18 USC. And you know that was sweet for one Steve Sarkeesian, the former head coach at Washington against his old team. Now his current team. Second down and four. Coleman. We're running to a sea of red jerseys on the left side. Leading the way, Jared Tevis. So that'll make it third down and four. Biggest one of the game. Siler Miles in no rush. Remember, Miles got his ankle taped up, so he may be reluctant to run it, but he's been effective when he's carried it. Jadon Mickens in motion. Miles underneath, and a first down for Washington. Joshua Perkins. The third down throw to the tight end again. They flipped the formation opposite, which meant Perkins was operating on the backside. And look at him run another shallow cross, and Miles puts it right on him. Well thrown football. First down, clock in Washington's favor, possession, Washington's favor. 2.34 to go. First down, Huskies at their own 33. Dwayne Washington in the backfield. Miles runs it. And Siler Miles gets to the 38, maybe the 39, depending on the spot. And a timeout called by Arizona. They have two remaining, down by two. Huskies keep it on the ground. Washington, Reggie Gilbert hits him first. And another timeout called by the Cats. Third down and three at the 40. Miles runs the option, turns it up, and picks up the first down. And that was absolutely huge, because you go back to the call on the interception. 
They're really around the 20 yard line, right? Middle of the field, third down. When they went for the strike in the end zone, the field goal might have been available to them. Instead, they go for a big shot. It doesn't work out. Washington takes advantage of it. Rich Rodriguez, the head coach, calls the play. So when you get a miscommunication in a tough time like that, it could come back and get you. Still hopeful of stopping Washington, but they've already burned two timeouts. First down and 10 at the 44. Here's a handoff to Cooper. Cooper met at the line of scrimmage. Did it come through? He said he fumbled it. Did he? And it looks like the Huskies will hold on to it. Or will they? So discussing it. Washington coughs it up again. Now this has got to be looked Ruling at. on the field with a fumble recovered by the defense. I think. I think the officials did an excellent job of letting it play out, not blowing it dead. But when we watch the replay, we have to see if Cooper's legs were on the ground before the ball worked its way free. Our replay officials, you know, are furiously yeah, looking at it. I agree with you, Mike. I think in this situation, you have to go with what's called on the field because I don't think you have anything conclusive to turn it the other direction. And you do have a clear recovery by Arizona. After a further review, the ruling on the field stands. First down. Wow. Washington with only six lost fumbles coming into this game, and now they have three today. 1.23 to go. Arizona with one timeout left. Washington with all three. Scalbrin's long field goal for the year is 49 yards. Solomon in the shotgun. Fires. And incomplete. He had an open receiver in Samaj Grant. You get to the 25 yard line, you're safely in range for your field goal kicker. If he came down to scouring in the USC game and he made it the game winner, but a timeout was called and missed the next one. Second down and 10. Solomon to the sideline and he has his man in Jones and Caleb Jones gets out of bounds as he picks up about eight on the play there's scouring coming into this game just four of his last nine but he did have the big fake field goal and ran it in 18 yards for a touchdown then he came back and hit a 35 yarder so his confidence is there third and two Wilson and that looks good enough for a first down as Scott Lawyer lost his helmet he'll have to come off for a play 107 to go Rich Rodriguez given new life. First down and 10. Solomon. Fires. Touchdown! Whoa! Caleb Jones! Caleb Jones high points this one, catches it, look for the feet though. He's got a toe there. And the official is staring right at the play. He's right on the end line, right at the back of the end zone. So he had the best view on that one. Let's take a look again with our cameras. Play is under first review. Catch there. Going on the field, it's a Foot. touchdown. That looks like it's on the white to me. Right there, that toe is on the white in the back of the end zone. 
After further review, the receiver's left hole hit the end line. Incomplete pass. Second down. Thank you, Michael. Great analysis by both of you gentlemen. So with 53 seconds to go, Arizona faced with the second and 10 at the 34. And where did you say they need to go to get in field goal Safe, range? Safe Safely. Safely at the 30. So they, they need about four yards. When I say safely, that's at the edge of what he hit this year, which is 49. Inside the 30 makes it feel good. Arizona still has a timeout left. Second and 10. They can run it here. Their box count looks like run. And they run it with Wilson. And he'll lean forward and get to the 30-yard line. They'll move quickly, but they don't have to go super fast. They do have a timeout. Now it's Solomon. He decides to run it. And Solomon is tackled by Travis Feeney. Scourin, former soccer manager. He's going to let it tick down. Watch the clock. Rich Rod is with the official. He's going to let it tick down. And then he wants to kick for the win with no time for Washington. And now they call the timeout with three seconds to go. So let's go back and look five weeks ago against USC with 17 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Steve Sarkeesian called the timeout to ice Wildcat kicker Casey Scourin. He didn't miss the 36-yard field goal attempt that would have given him and the Wildcats a one-point lead. And remember earlier in this game, Cameron Van Winkle. Von Winkle for Washington. What did he do on his first field goal attempt today? He hit the upright. That's three points gone for Washington. What else happened later? A missed extra point because of the bad snap from Ryan Mazel. That puts Arizona in range to make this a win. Casey Scourin, a redshirt junior from Phoenix. Soccer star as a high school kid. Good from 35 yards out today. This one from 47 and for the win. Clean snap, got it! Coach Rodriguez. Coach Casey Scourin kicks the game-winning field goal. How nerve-wracking was it when he didn't make that first one before the timeout? It was a little bit of relief. And I think for him, too, you know, he's been in some pressure situations. And so proud of him. I'm so proud of our guys. That's a really good football team we just beat. And our guys hung in there and another one to all the way to the last whistle. Your offense struggled at times today. How did you win despite that? Well, our guys just battled. Our defense made a stop when they had to. And we weren't clicking at all, but we were competing, and that's what we got to do every weekend. You're still alive for that Pac-12 South title that you've all been talking about. How big is this win for what you're trying to accomplish for this season? Well, the more you win, the more is at stake, especially in the month of November, and we got to have a lot of things happen for us, but we did our part today, and we'll just wait and see what happens. All right, thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, Molly, it wasn't pretty, but the Arizona Wildcats find a way to win. Their eighth win of the season, fifth in the Pac-12. Casey Scourin, he's gonna have a lot of fun in Tucson tonight. He's the man of the moment. For Charles Davis and Molly McGrath, I'm Gus Johnson saying thanks for tuning in and so long from Tucson.